Parks on our adventures. Today we're at Waterloo Recreational Campground. Well, Waterloo Recreation Area Portage Lake, Lake Camp Campground. I'm sorry. <laughs> I misled you. It's windy today. <coughs> so hopefully you can hear this all right. So we just wanted to show you, um, like we said, Portage Lake Campground. So there's two loops to this campground. Um, sites 1 through 31 are paved sites and 32 and up are um, non-paved, um, just a little different site. We'll walk you around and show you an example of those. Um, it's a, it's not full hookup. Yeah, it's just electric. You fill up uh, fresh water and uh, at the fill station. So no full service yet at this park for the state of Michigan. <laughs> yeah, maybe there won't be, but who knows? The, the other neat thing with this is it does sit on Portage Lake um, and uh, there is access to the lake. There's a nice beach um, that you can, um, I'll say hike, but it's probably more like a walk, a gingerly walk, so. Yeah, full recreational lake. Yep. Take your boat out, water skiing, all that good stuff there, fishing, um, lots of hiking and even um, bike riding. Well, let's, let's go for a walk. I'm going to show you camp, site number five. It is a handicap accessible site, so it's probably bigger, but this is a typical site. Paved, a little jet out for your picnic table, and fire pit. But most of the sites in this loop, like I said, one through 31 are paved like that, so they're easily accessible. Our favorite site is number eight, but there's people on it, so we aren't going to show you that today. I'd say lot 14. 16 are nice sites too. That's the thing that we like about, one of the things we like about this loop are these very mature trees. If you can see this right here. And that covers two sites, 16 and 18. 16, 17, sorry. If you wanted shade, that's the site to get. So if you wanted the site closest to the path that leads down to the beach, it's site 21. And it's a dirt site. But level. The fun fact about the Waterloo Recreation Area is it is the largest state park uh, in the Lower Peninsula, third largest in Michigan. Yeah. Um, 11 lakes, four campgrounds, two with, you know, modern, two with electric. Yep. Two of the four. So there's Portage Lake and Sugar Loaf is the other one. It's bordered by a wildlife sanctuary right on one side and Pinckney Recreation on the opposite side. North and south is private land. But Pink Pinckney would be another state um, recreation area. Uh, so. so there are lots of wildlife in this area. Lots of trails. Let's stop for a second and show you Portage Lake. This, of course, isn't the access area here. This is <laughs> the wild, the wild. Yeah, um, this is just the campground side. We are yeah, to the beach. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we didn't want to th make you think that it was a uh, <laughs> swim a at your own risk. <laughs> uh, a swamp or yeah, enter at your own risk. Uh, State Park is located in, well, it actually is kind of in both Jackson County and Washtenaw County of Michigan. Um, so, and then that would be in the southern uh, part of Michigan, central, southern. So. The closest town is Chelsea, Michigan, to wa to Waterloo itself, probably to this park. Yeah. It, um, Stockbridge is probably closest? Uh, maybe. I'm just gonna pan around and show you. We're kind of leaving the loop that had the paved site, so I'm just gonna show you around. It is hilly. So you definitely, if you stay in the the other loop, 32 and up, you definitely want to bring your leveling blocks and then some, because 
some of these sites are a little wonky. And it's early in the season, so there's no leaves on these trees yet, but you get the gist of it. Beautiful weekend, great for camping. I'm just gonna do a pan around of this loop real quick. People are getting checking out that have stayed this weekend. So you can see the, the sites with the fire pits in there. Picnic tables. But notice the hill we're coming up to. Oh, and another note too, this, this facility with the number of sites actually has two bathhouses, which are full service uh, showers, uh, restrooms. Yeah. Uh, and generally well maintained. Yeah. When we talk about bringing your leveling blocks. Okay, this is, what site is this? 35. It's a huge site. Look, can you, I hope you can see the slip of it. Tents set up in here. But not always. I know. There is a dump station here too. So here's bathhouse number two. And again, I'm gonna step off the road just to pan these sites. They're up on top of the hill. You can see how these sites, and they're beautiful sites, are going wrong. But they're very natural, they're not level. So bring your leveling box. And we love this campground. Don't, I don't want you to think we're discouraging you because we're not. We enjoy the coming here. But bring your leveling box. Come prepared. And there are cabins here as well. I'm just gonna show you in there. And honestly, when we've been here, didn't know that cabin was even there. I think because the Leaves. When the leaves are out, you can't see it. It's brewing up a storm. <laughs> the wind is horrendous. Like these poor people hauling in their RVs home today are gonna be wore out by the time they get home. Their arms are gonna hurt holding the steering wheel. On the way here, you have to bring Interstate I-94 here. There was a ooh, sorry, dead frog. <laughs> There is. <laughs> All right, graphic. I'll have to label that. Um, there was a semi truck, obviously not levelly loaded, had more weight on one side than the other, leaning with the wind. So every time there was a gust, it fishtailed. It was rather unnerving, like it could flip at any moment. But it didn't while well, we were behind it, at least. Okay, I'm gonna do another pan around of these sites. This is a beautiful site. 122. 122. Right here. It's level and it's ginormous. But look across here. There's this natural slope. So. You can't go wrong with the site. You can't go wrong if you don't bring your level blocks. One nice thing that we know at this campground is the amount of handicap sites there are. Um, we're down in the other area and one level, or excuse me, site 136 is also a handicap site. So don't let uh, this park deter you from Come in and visiting if, if you have disabilities. Another great feature of this park, there's a, in within Waterloo Recreation Area is the ED Discovery Center. It's like a nature center. And the park here itself generally has a campground host that has activities. But then also there are ranger led, are they rangers? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> DNR staff. Department of Natural Resources staff led activities um, at the nature center or some place within the recreation area. And they're, like we've done a firefly one that the, our kids did when they were younger. They loved it. Just lots of cool statistics and, you know, accurate information. <laughs> so they usually give you that when you check in, they give you a list of all the activities or they're posted in the bathhouse. And I saw 
even like they already have Memorial Day activities posted. It's not even May and they're already posted. So that's a nice benefit of the state park, I think. What is in the road over there? The road over there? I don't know. It looks big. It wasn't there when we walked there. No, we were on the trail though. Oh, but we walked in that stretch. What is it? Yeah. Oh, somebody, look at this. Somebody side walked up for it. We might have to walk over there. Is it a snapping turtle? Because they wouldn't go up to it. It does look like a snake. It looks like a turtle. Proper campground etiquette. <laughs> well, nobody's on these sites or we wouldn't be cutting through here. Don't do that. Don't walk through sites. Maybe it's just a squirrel. It looks like a turtle. How did we miss that? We Turtles didn't. don't move that fast. This one ran. He's definitely slow to go. Check this out. It's big. Like and we were just on, we just walked, just walked through here a few minutes ago. And this was not there. Maybe it was in the grass. Oh, I think it ran out here. Jeez. I just want to feed it. Your finger? Yep. I don't think we're going to get close to it. That's a big turtle. Look at him. Oh, he's getting a little anxious about our arrival. If he moved out of that grass that fast, I wouldn't be approaching him. Yeah. His tail is kind of like that. He's angry. He's the closest I'll say 31 is a pull through site. There aren't that many of those. There's two in the park. And again, it's not level. So bring your leveling blocks. I don't think we told you. We'll show you a picture of the office, like where you check in. There is firewood and ice available at the office. And in the beach area, there is a little concession stand store in that area when this, you know, like Memorial Day to Labor Day. You can and buy snacks and souvenirs and that kind of thing. And just outside the park, probably within five miles, are several grocery stores so you aren't without conveniences we're at bath, the first bathhouse we showed you but i'm going to show you here's the dump station as you leave you can pull up either side and there was a line when we got here but it obviously has cleared out really quickly this is the beach area Session stand area that she was talking about in the campground portion of it. The trail for the um, to get to the campground or down to the beach, uh, it's a paved trail, really nice. It's all paved trails down here, so if you've got one of those little camp wagons that you want to throw all your camp gear in, it lines down there nicely and goes down to the beach. This is a, a great day use area as well. Um, so if you're not a camper, Check out uh, some of the state parks here in Michigan. Uh, they have a great day use area here at the park. Pavilions, use, and restrooms. Uh, this has a shower house in it. There is a playground here. I'm going to walk over here on the other side of the concession stand. It's a fairly updated playground. Okay, so a couple things about Portage Lake um, in Michigan, Portage Lake Campground that we forgot to mention. There is um, horseback riding 
within that Waterloo Recreation Area. You can make a reservation and then go on a trail ride. They do have a horse camp, so a lot of equestrian people drive their horse in their trailer there and then camp and then go ride the trails because there are quite a few horseback riding trails within Waterloo. Then we are, well, Port Waterloo Recreation Area is right along Interstate I-94 in Michigan. So if you just needed a stopover spot, you know, if you're traveling on 994, that would be a great, it's not that far off the highway, that would be a great stop. And typically most, most Michigan state parks have a few sites that they're our first come first serve. They, they're non-reservable sites, so you could potentially get a site there if you just wanted to pull in for a night. Not guaranteeing it, of course, but just wanted you to be aware of that. It's a great, great stop for that. So this is, like we said, Portage Lake Campground in Waterloo Recreation Area in Michigan. Recommend this campground. It's a dry campground, so keep that in mind if that's important to you or not important to you. But definitely lots of hiking, swimming, boating, relaxation, and nature here. Yeah. will bring your mosquito repellent. Otherwise, you're going to be a buffet of four things. Yes, um, I would say uh, definitely an, a doable campground for us. We try to hit it at least once a year. So yes. it's close proximity to where we live. So easy peasy. And usually the sites are very navigational. <laughs> and the handy word. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But we will see you on our next adventure. adventure. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.